we are going to learn about how to say hello. Hello in Arabic we say salam. Salam. Salam means hello. The other word for today is the word Anna. Anna can be used to say I, the personal pronoun, or can be used to say I am. So in Arabic, we haven't the verb to be at the present simple. So f when you say Anna, you can say I or I am. For example, if you want to say I'm David in Arabic, it will be Anna Dawood. The other personal pronoun for today is the is anta 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 is used to say you or you are but are the masculine form because in Arabic there are two kinds of gender female and male so anta is used to say you or you are but for the masculine for example if I would say anta Dawood, I will say anta Dawood, you are David the other personal pronoun is anti and anti is the female you of Arabic and it's used like both of Anna and anti the other word for today is the word naam it, it is pronounced naam and naam means yes if you want to say yes just say naam the other word is the word la and la is used to say no so la means no the other word is the word aidan 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 is used to say too or also for example, but it is not used to say too much. <laughs> it's used to say too. For example, me too. I would say Anna Aydan. It's like English. Me too. Anna Aydan. The other word is the word Huna. Huna is used to say here. For example, if you want to say I'm here, just say Anna Huna. I'm Anna here. Huna, Anna, Huna. The other word for today is the word hell. Hell is you. Uh, it doesn't have. Uh, I would say a translation in English because it's for Arabic and it's used in formal uh, conversations and in uh, formal questions. For example, you can say, "Are you here?" or uh, it, I can say it's used as we use do in English, for example, do you. Hell is used by this way, and you will uh, understand more and more in the dialogue section. The other word for today is the word men. Men is used to say who. For example, if I want to say who are you, I will say men and ta. It's so easy. The uh, final word for today is the word laysa. And Laysa is used to make the negation and it maybe it has the translation of not for example if I want to say I'm not here I will say Anna Laysa Huna Anna it's I'm Laysa it's not and Huna it's here Anna Laysa Huna I hope you got all the vocabulary of today and now let, let's begin with our listening section. Let's get started. Yalla nabda. Today we have three dialects. I'll uh, read them. First dialect. Salam. Ana Dawood. Salam. Ana Maryam. Anta Dawood. Naham. Ana Dawood. Anti Dalia. La. Anna Mariam. The second dialogue. Anna Musa. Hel anti Layla. Naam. Anna Layla. Anti Yusuf. La Anna Musa. Anti Aisha. La Anna Layla. Third dialogue. 
ليلى أنت هنا؟ نعم أنا هنا هل داود هنا أيضا؟ داود ليس هنا I will make all the, uh, the light on this dialogue So the first The first dialogue was سلام أنا داود It's hello I'm David داود It's David in, uh, in Arabic سلام أنا داود She answers سلام أنا مريم Hello أنا I'm Maryam. Maryam means Mary. And she asked him, "And Dawood?" With the intonation, "And Dawood," because in Arabic we haven't the form "Are you?" and "You are." So we, uh, by making the intonation, we make the question, "And Dawood, you are David, or are you David?" He says, "Naam, yes." "And Dawood, I'm David." And he asked her, Anti Dalia, you are Dalia? She said, La, it means no. Anna, Mariam, I'm Mary. The second dialogue. He says, Anna, Musa, I'm Musa. And Musa, it has the translation of Moses and uh, its current uh, name in, uh, in Arab countries. Anna, Musa, I'm Moses. هل أنت ليلى؟ Here uh, he could say أنت ليلى but by uh, with using uh, by using the formal uh, way he said هل أنت ليلى؟ It's formal to say هل أنت ليلى. He was able to say أنت ليلى by the intonation but he preferred to say هل أنت ليلى. She answered نعم أنا ليلى. Yes I'm ليلى. And she asked him, "And Yusuf? Yusuf is Joseph. Uh, Joseph in Arabic." Uh, she said, "And Yusuf? You are Joseph?" Uh, he said, "La, no. Anna Musa. I'm Musa." And he asked her, "And Aisha? You are Aisha?" She said, "Lo. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, she, she said, "La. It means no." أنا ليلى I'm ليلى In the third dialogue it was ليلى أنت هنا means ليلى you are here أنت هنا but uh, here he used the intonation so it's a question she said نعم أنا هنا yes I'm here and he asked her a second question هل داود هنا أيضا هل it's for the formal داود David هنا هل داود هنا is David here أيضا it means too is David here too and you know the order of the words are like English so uh, there is not a lot of difference between the order of the sentence in English and the sentence in Arabic and uh, I can tell you uh, just uh, Put the order like you do in English, as beginner, of course, and you will say more differences when you will uh, have more, uh, 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 yes, more knowledge in Arabic. And he, uh, she answered him, "Dawood leisa huna." It means David. And as I said in Arabic, at the simple present, we don't have the verb to be. So, uh, for making the negation. You just put Laysa. So Dawood, Laysa, it means is not. And we understand that Laysa is is not. Maybe it's uh, very difficult for you to say, oh my god, there is no to be in Arabic. Yes, there isn't. <laughs> it's like this. And take it. <laughs> and don't ask a lot of questions because if you ask why you don't have the verb to be in Arabic, it's like you are asking the question why skies are blue. <laughs> so, Dawood Laysa Huna. It means David is not here. Huna. It means here. And you see also here the